Right, we're here today at the Glebe for round five of the MOP Knockout Cup. I'm here with Jason Collins, who's planning to take me out. Um, we're going to fish pegs 26 and 24. So we're going to flip a coin. But before we do, mate, how do you think it's going to go? I think there'll be a few to be caught today, mate. I think uh, catch a few on the feeder. Yep. Cab a few shallow. Yeah, there's quite a few the swimming edge. about in there. So. A few down the edge late on corner, I reckon. Lovely, mate, yeah. Could be carnage. Yeah, could be right. you. Yeah, well, start on a feeder, uh, chuck some corn short and probably end up down the edge. But nice. there's a few too many swimming about shallow, so there's going to have to be some sort of shallow rig. So I yeah. think we're going to set up similar gear, but I think we're going to start a little bit differently. I know he likes a shallow rig, so and I like my feeder rod. So and I'll, we'll crack the, I'll crack the feeder off. You'll crack that off, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how it pans out. So, Chase, look right. that coin, mate. What are you? Edge, tails? Okay. Go on then, mate. Oh, draw bag. I'll take some before. Alright, good yeah. luck, mate. How's yeah, good, mate? Okay, so we're about to start in a minute, and I'm just gonna take a minute just to run you through what we've set up. Um, like I said earlier, I'm gonna start on a feeder. So I've set one of those up. Um, got the 11 foot SUV rod, a little bit more powerful than, than the other rod in the range. So it's ideal for casting over there. It's probably 40 meters over there, and you're casting a quite a large cage feeder rather than a method feeder. So. Obviously, they ain't the most aerodynamic things in the world, so you need something with a bit more poke in it. That's the 11 foot rod. I've got an eight pound optimum main line, nice and strong. Um, and the rig itself, I've got a twizzled loop here, which a feeder runs on. And that gives me a bit of strength. Obviously, we're not gonna be leaving the feeder in for very long when we're fishing over there, probably minute at the most, two minutes max. So that part of the rig is gonna take quite a bit of hammer. So that's the bit where I want the strength. So I've doubled that up, a uh, little bead, so I can change my hook length. Uh, and we have to use a 20 inch hook length here. So that's a, an 018 Power Optex. Coming down to a size 14 B911. And the feeder itself is just a large large cage cage feeder that I've added some extra lead to so it holds on the slope over there and don't roll roll back all the time. Um, pole wise I've set up a pretty basic five metre line here in about five foot of water. Uh, again that's just going to be fishing corn. I've set up three different shallow rigs um, just as a little little note with those. One of them's got a bit of a longer line on it. Um, we're not allowed to slap here, that's the fishery rules. So I'm using the SF3 floats. So obviously when I flick these out past my pole tip, just past where I'm feeding my bait, they make a nice little plop like a pellet as well, and my pellet itself. So you know that you've got to, you've got to use these things to your advantage when you're not allowed to slap. And obviously noise is always going to catch you more fish. Um, one of them's got a longer line, the other one is a shorter rig with a shorter lash on it for fishing right under my pole tip, so that should have that covered in case the fishing is particularly good. And going on from there, I've got two margin rigs. Um, one is a 4B12 MF3 float, uh, 020 main line, 018 hook length, just a bulk of shot just above my hook length, um, to a black, black map. Uh, 12 to 16 hollow. So that's my basic rig. It's the one I expect to use most of the time. And then I've got a beastie rig here, which is a heavier 4x14 float. Again, bulk, bulk of shot, a lot more line, uh, shot on the line. Keep the rig a lot more stable when there's a lot of fish in the peg. Um, to uh, B911 extra strong. And this time I've got heavier elastic. We've got the uh, matte purple stuff which is pretty hefty. Um, 
other than that it's going to be a pretty basic day uh, just a little tip for you um, something I've been doing quite a bit recently some people probably think it's a bit over the top but um, obviously most of the fish in here are going to be about five pounds so I want to use a nice small landing net for them uh, I've got the 14 inch shake dry net here but sometimes you're going to get a bigger fish which is going to be a bit of a nightmare with that or you're going to foul look one which ain't going to go in head first obviously so I will set up a spare net this is a 16 inch shake dry which will enable me to uh, have a bit more of a swipe at them and get a bigger surface area so yeah just just something a little bit different that sometimes can get you out of trouble right we're on peg 24 um as you can see there's a load of fish on top so i think it's going to be more of an out and out shadow match today i've set up a feeder rod um but i don't know if i'll start on it to be honest with you because the amount of fish that's in front of me and i've got a waggler just set up like for a mugging type waggler but most of it's probably going to revolve around fishing shallow on the pole set up three rigs for shallow uh the first two are same float they're a SF1 um, little float, quite heavy. I've set up a 410s and a 412s just because the rules here, you're not allowed to slap. So I fish a bit of a longer line than normal um, and lay me rig past the feeds because I like to feed fours and uh, casters usually, four mil and casters. I haven't got any casters today, so I'm gonna feed fours, but just making that rattle on the water. Um, it just allows you to flick your rig around your peg because you tend not to get a lot of fish in your peg here and then all of a sudden you've got loads. So they're quite up in the water so you can just flick around and nick an odd fish. And as well, they double up as a mugging rig just to save setting up loads of rigs and keep swapping, coming in and swapping rigs about. So they're set up on 020 Power Optex main line, uh, about foot, 18 inches deep, both of them. I'll change that throughout the day to an 18 B911 extra strong hook on both of them, 016 hook limps. Both set up on map 10 to 14 green. Uh, I've just set up an extra one, just a little P type float. It's an FS3 um, 4x8, just if they're a little bit higher in the water and uh, a little bit more spooky, I can use that, but it'll probably be the other two. That's pretty much my shallow rig set. Um, I usually fish a six mil on the hook. Um, I like the bait tech carbon course pellets because they're a little bit smaller, so you can flick them out and they just make a little bit of a plop, just like a caster or a four mil, but they're not too big. And you can still mug with them, so that just means if I see one, I can just flick to it. Uh, the only other pole rig I've set up is down the edge. I've set up two identical. I've just set up a um, MF3 margin float. Really good, they strong, they don't break. O20 main line, O20 power up text main line. Black, black Mac elastic, just because we're going to obviously be bagging if they turn up. 018 hook length with a extra strong 14 hook, just a bulk, just get it down, probably two bits of corn on that. And that's it, probably fish corn down the edge. And uh, that's pretty much it for me rigs, just hopefully shallow and down the edge. Shallow water day. Yeah, I'm ready. started off I've had three fish straight away or about three pound not massive I'm just feeding 14 meters up in the water waiting for them to pull the elastic out like that but um, I've got a main feed area 14 meters just picking a few pellets just flicking a rig into it and then if I see one I can use the same rig just to try and mug it 
There's not as many muggers about as there was at the start, but still a few out there. There's a few fish coming backwards and forwards. Just by giving yourself that main feed area, just helps you nick an odd fish when there's no muggers around. <coughs> Obviously that gets stronger and stronger as the day goes on and then you end up catching properly on it at the end. By feeding a few four mils, you get that rattle on the water, which tends to draw them up. And when they're there, they're quite high in the water. Um, so you don't really catch until you see an odd shadow or a fish out there. And then all of a sudden there's two or three fish. And you pick one off and then they're not there. The fish just shown out there now, so they're back. Better one. Four or five pound. Right, so the first hour has gone by without not a lot happening. And uh, the feeder didn't work. It's not really a surprise, really. It's so, so warm, all the fish are up near the top. So just have to uh, persevere with this shallow line. It's not, um, it's not really kicked off for me at the moment. I've had probably three, four carp and probably the same as skimmers so not not ideal and I'm a little way behind at the minute so I'm gonna just see how it goes I'm gonna give it probably another quarter of an hour or so and then probably gonna have a go on that short line to see if I can have a run of fish there to try and catch up a little bit get back in the game so yeah all to do at the minute. Come back. Come back. Stop fighting.
what I'm here for. Right, ready, yeah? Yep. Right, we're an hour in. I've probably got about 38, 40 pounds. Probably about eight or nine carp and a few skimmers. Just caught shallow. Um, just mugged an odd fish. It's got a bit quieter now. There's an odd fish there, but not as many as a start. I'm just feeding the one line and just flicking me rigging it. There's one shallowed up a bit and gone to an heavier float because I was just finding it hard to get out swinging it to fish. So I've gone to an heavier float, come off, um, four by twelves, just shallowed up a little bit, just makes it easier just to swing at them fish. I say there's not so many no more, so there's only like odd, odd fish cruising about, so quite hard to see as well because you're so low down to the water. Him. One shot. Quite difficult to catch, really. You see them, but they're not really interested. I've probably had more bites over me feed than I've had mugging in the last half hour, so they're definitely slowing off a bit. You've got to keep lifting your rig and swinging it into your feet. So, as I said before, um, I was going to give this another quarter of an hour before having a little bit of a change because I was behind. Um, probably caught up a little bit to be honest, a run of about five carp and been catching some nice skimmers as well, just feeding some casters and fishing a banded pellet. Um, so, I'm going to persevere with it for a little while longer because I think Jace has uh, slowed down a little bit. So if I can just keep picking, picking away on this, just stick at it, hopefully we'll get another little run. And then hopefully, the, well, in theory, the longer I leave that short line, hopefully the better it'll be. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Just keep plodding on. Right, got just over two hours left. Probably got about 70 pound in the net. Started off really well, like mugging a few and catching shadow, but they've just moved off the pole line. I can't really get a fish at the minute. So I've just started chucking a waggler, just mugging them and chucking over a bit of feed that I'm putting out, and I've had three on it. It's not loads here anymore, but there's an odd fish still. Just chucking it into like a group of fish if I can see them, or trying to spot odd fish. It's weird because you get two take hit and you think it's easy and then you don't get a bite for 10 minutes, they just ignore it. There's a few more starting to show now. Hopefully you might get a few more bites on this, try and catch down the edge in a little while. But it's 
definitely slowed up. I think Tony's just started to catch a few short. So start feeding that edge, try and get a few fish in. I've already put one pot of bait down there, but I've not seen anything on it yet. Bad cast. Yeah, you can go sort of 10 minutes without a bite on this, then get three and three chucks for sort of 10 pounds. So I'll persevere with this for a little while. Certain to have that. <coughs> One of them's got to have that, surely. He did. Yeah? What you got? Uh, 70 pound top whack, mate. Nice. What you got? I'd say about the same. Yeah? Yeah, I reckon so. Got about, well, I've clicked 70 pound of carp and I've got a couple of skimmers, so just over 70, I reckon. Yeah. But you know what I'm like, my weight. Well, yeah, we do, mate. Could be 50 pound, could be 100 pound. Catching short now? Nah, I had a couple straight away and then. Uh, Better fish? Nah, it's not great. I just had a skimmer then. I'm losing them now. Right, we're just going into the last hour. Probably got about 90 pounds. Um, caught a few shallow on the pole, a few mugging, and I've caught a few on the waggler, mugging fish and a couple on the feed. But it's gone really hard. I've probably had two fish in the last 20 minutes. Um, but before that, probably struggled for an hour for sort of 10 pounds. Um, just got back on the pole. Uh, see if I can mug a couple or catch a couple shallow. It's not really working. The old lake's sort of like gone dead of fish up this end. Don't have to follow the wind down the other end. But uh, can't really see a lot happening. As I say, that's a tail down the edge. Yeah, there's not as half as many fish showing as what there was. The one you do see, you can't catch now. It's, I'm really hard, but it's really hot and no wind on the water. I'm just going to try down that edge. <coughs> Hopefully, if they turn up down there for the last hour, could have a good wait. Loads down here now. A few down here now.
They've even gone down there quick, didn't they? I know this one. You skimmer. Look like a skimmer because of his tail, look. Got no tail on him. Uh, it's been quite an odd match, to be honest, mate. Um, just an, an odd carp here and there, really. There ain't really been any uh, any pattern to it. I ain't had like three or four on the trot at any point or anything like that. You know, I'd catch a carp and then I'd get a couple of skimmers. But, uh, oh. I think we're probably both quite surprised at how, how hard it's actually been. So you think two of you sat here, you think you're gonna you're gonna catch about 300 pounds, don't you? So, but yeah, last hour-ish, and I think don't think there's much in it really. Um, but I think whoever wins is gonna have a little spurt right at the end, and that'll be enough because. Like I say, there ain't a lot in it, so, you know, three or four decent fish, and that's going to be it, I think. But hopefully, I can, uh, I had a little go short for a little while. It weren't great, I had two or three carp and probably the same as skimmers. Um, but yeah, well, I expected that to be quite good, really, so, and it, and it hasn't been. I think mean, most things that I've thought we we're going to be good out and haven't been great today so just uh hopefully i'm going to get a a little string of three or four at the end and hopefully it'll be enough but i wouldn't be surprised if it ain't i'll give this another 10 minutes see if i can nick another fish um see a few about mug that last one um and i've put couple of big pots on my short line which is a big pot of hemp and a big pot of corn so hopefully that'll drag a few down and uh, get me that little run. Look at this. Oh, I've absolutely smashed it. Yeah. You've got loads more than me, Squid. Hey? Eh? You've got a load more than I have. You've had about 40 pounds of skimmers, haven't you? Well, yeah, but you've got 100 pounds of carp. You ain't got far off it. I'm 
start playing mind games with me. Right, so that's the end of the match. Um, it's been a bit of a different sort of day, really, isn't it? It's not really gone as we expected it to be. No, I thought it would be a lot better than that, to be honest, but yeah. <coughs> it's, just, uh, it's just not gone, is it? It's no. Not no, it's been hard work. Um, I think he's won it. He will uh, He'll keep protesting that he hasn't, but I know he has, really. I think you just nicked it. I think we'll have skimmers. <laughs> I think you've had a few skimmers. I think you'll... Uh... I think you'll just nick that. How can you beat carp with skimmers? Yeah, Come on. You've caught, you've caught steady, <laughs> haven't you? Enough of that. Scales. Come on then, let's get them weighed in and we'll have a look. Do them all. Uh, they yeah. can't too rich. Oh. Oh. Forty-eight five. Forty pound five. Fifty nine five. Not a bad split, was it? That's right. Five, five. Thirty-five, two. Be generous, not. That's a lovely day. Forty-nine two. Right, that's the weighing in done. I've weighed in a hundred and thirty pound. Um, struggled for carp for most of the day, but I've managed to put fifty pound of skimmers in the net as well. So yeah, I've, I've had a nice day. Um, but as predicted, this man, hundred and fifty-eight pound. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, caught a few a uh, few early on the on the mugging rig. I've caught a few shallow over the same line, pretty much feeding pellets. Caught a few on a waggler, mugged a few on the waggler. It's gone really hard, and I thought I was sort of head of tone by quite a bit. And then he's catching skimmers, and before long he's caught me up. And I think the last 20 minutes, half hours probably, yeah, I've had yeah. I've put about 30 pound in my net the last half hour. So it's just been enough in the end. But this is a good match time. Cheers, yeah, mate. Cheers, mate. You too. It's good been a good day. Cheers, mate. <laughs>